When the front jaw on your vise lifts by three to five thousandths of an inch, that's a bad thing, right? When I did the video on my Haas OM2, I did spend a little bit of time talking about the vise. It's an inexpensive vise that I got from Shars. This particular vise is not made anymore. And one of the things I discovered is that I was getting a lot of jaw lift particularly when I was using the, uh, the piranha jaws, which is the serrated jaws. So that led me down the path of thinking, okay, I need to buy a new vise. Uh, good vices for this machine that will fit on the machine are on uh, the order of $1,000. Wasn't really that enthusiastic about spending the money. And then I got some uh, comments from viewers and that made me look a little bit deeper. I have the piece right here in between the serrated jaws. And what I'm going to do right now is, is tighten it. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to use 10 thousandths increments. And you'll notice that when it's going counterclockwise, that means the part is coming up. So I'll set this to about uh, zero right there. And I'll use the fine adjust. Actually, let me back it off. I'm going to use the fine adjust on the uh, no gut. All right, so that's reading zero. It may be hard to tell from your perspective because of parallax. And now when I tighten this, you can see it's lifting uh, five and a half thousandths of an inch. So that's pretty scary. Now, one of my readers pointed something out to me. So let me zoom you out and show you a feature of this vise. There's a screw right here which is pushing on a part that will help keep the straw from lifting so much. And it's fairly loose right now, which is what I discovered after the re one of my viewers suggested that I tighten it and then back it off a little bit. And so I want to do that so that it's not hard to close, uh, but it's as tight as it can be. So I'm doing this by feel. Okay, that's still pretty good. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, what the jaw lift is. Okay, I'll do the same thing, tighten the jaws again, about the same amount, and it improved quite a bit, but it's still about three and a half thousandths of an inch of rise. Initially, I thought that was a problem because that's quite a bit of rise. And then one of the things I learned from discussions with my viewers is that generally you want to use the serrated jaws only for the first stop. When you're going to be flipping it over, uh, if, you, if this is at a slight angle and you flip it over uh, and then put it on the parallels and not the serrated jaws. As you'll see shortly, that will take care of uh, most of the issue with the jaw lift. So you should only use the serrated jaws which are going to have some jaw lift for the first operation. So let me set this up so that we're using the parallels instead. Okay, so I have the, uh, the part loose in the vise, and I have it set on zero. I'm going to tighten this, and you can see that uh, it increased. So I'm going to move the indicator to the left to get it out of the way, so that I can uh, give this a good whack with the uh, dead blow hammer. And what I want to do is make sure that I cannot move the parallels and they're both uh, quite solid right now. Now let me move this back over and see how we did. And this is the important thing, it's on zero. So the jaw lift, when you're using parallels and using a dead blow hammer to whack it down onto the parallels is not an issue. And as a result of this, I realized I did not need to get a new vise. This vise, you know, even though I have a love-hate relationship with it, is plenty accurate enough as long as I'm using the parallels when I need things to be accurate. For first operations and roughing and that type of thing, the piranha jaws are fine, but for precision, the parallels. So as you saw from this episode, part of the issue is that I hadn't really thought through or didn't fully understand all the implications of using a vise with serrations. In this particular case, I have piranha jaws from MMM 
USA. I really like the piranha jaws when I need to get down deep with something for the first operation, but as you saw here, I need to be careful when I use the piranha jaws and when I need precision, don't use the piranha jaws. As long as I'm using the parallels, it's going to be precise and flat exactly the way that I want it to be. I hope you found this short episode of interest or useful. Uh, please help me grow the channel by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, comment below. And if you're already sub a subscriber, you can be notified when I have new videos by clicking on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.